here we go, men's second semi-final, and it's Sweden in yellow serving to Brazil in green. First one just gets a little touch of the net. So an interesting evolution. Good control taking the pressure out. There we see that jump set. Oh, what a block! Interesting for Brazil. I think perhaps their egos might even get in the way, wanting to so show the Swedes that they can jump set as well. But you just have to be careful. Well, second bite to the cherry for Walker. If one of the Swedish players gets a cut, just cover what you can well. Steve Angle from Helvik took the serve deep as well. Deep swing. See the high angle camera around. Just hosting the men's final later on today after the women's. Just give the little bad on. Here we go then. Sweden serving 12 9. Over on two from Brazil. Hasn't really affected too many things. Sweden are so fast across the pool by his short. There it is. He's going after his jump float. But a one footed, almost a slide attack, wasn't it? David Armin, what a swing. This one to cause confusion down the centre. Just squeezing it through the hand, the side of the block. The gentle giant. Oh, almost a pressure they serve. But in the end, it is a big block. There's a little celebration. Right. <laughs> Latvia, Smoilovs and Smedens and those sorts of guys have carried on the tradition. Australia had a pretty good go at it last cycle, but now Sweden setting sideways is extraordinary and doing things like that. So from a blocking perspective, what's the key thing that the blockers need to look out for then? With Sweden doing, playing the way they are. Have to take the risk on not blocking, on having a completely free net on two already. A very powerful swing given Brazil. A four point deficit now, 14 18, gone after the serve. Yeah. Second ball. Nestled right into the corner. And Sweden give you nothing. Well, the pressure on the serve there. Oh, it's done with a little trickler off the net. And the first set goes Sweden's way. 21-14. They're dancing. <laughs> See that final eight serve. First time Brazil have led in this game. That lead snuffled out really quickly. Entangled and too close to the too close to the block. And George setting up. Change of direction for the defense. Just staying so, so still in the air, letting his arm swing do all the work. And there's a bit of a fallacy. Andre's read that well. And they are breaking down this Swedish pass, of course. Line shot. The pressure still on the serve from Brazil, forcing run, and it's still just as devastating. <laughs> but it's almost like a ball and jumps yeah. it. Who says they can have three touches? They're not allowed. <laughs> are they? To me, to you. Ball and just to set it behind your head like that. The confidence that these 21-year-olds have. It doesn't matter whether it's George or Andre. So it might be time for Sweden to run something 
a slightly trickier as George comes in with another devastating jump float. Timeout. On short again. One of the groans in the crowd. Brazil still leading though by three. Let's get themselves a foothold in this second set. The semi final into a third set. So come again. Absolutely rips that one down the side of the block. How do Sweden respond? Well, this front off the head of Andre. And then he puts it away. Just stepping away from the ball, allowing George to set into that run-up. That's it for Brazil to go again. Well, 19-13, Brazil are running away with it. Almost feels like the players need their own little caddy, don't they, to kind of talk them through which way the ball's going. <laughs> well, switch of playing that creative shot again from George. There it is, a kill block. We are going to three here in the men's second semi-final. Red wide, one hand on the line, one hand on the seam. That's perfect. In the first set, and since then he has been back at his explosive best. Andre reading that well. And then another one. Carbon copy of point number one for George. And he just rips that ball across his body. What a two meter line angle swing. He gets the block to it. Third swing in a row for, for George. He goes to Andre. Great decision in the end from Jonathan Helvig. Still have come out all guns blazing here in the third set. Just needs to know that he played the right shot, just didn't quite execute. Well, that's perfect on the second ball, George, with a great pass in. At risk some time, and blockers do the same. Well, momentum is the way of Brazil. If the Swedes do anything else, that's okay. But you've got to have some sort of structure and plan against it. And Brazil executing at the moment. Oh, great read from George Wadley coming in. What a reverse knuckle. It's a little bit inside. Plot read it. That's here for Andre. Hit as hard as he could. Second bite of the cherry. He gets it. 11 7. Just being polite. <laughs> 11 7 Brazil leading. Off the touch of the hands. It's about to say, can they put the pressure on the serve? They can do. It's good courage from Andre, though. I like that he's going after it. Three points in a row. That ends by Andre going down the line. It's a huge risk, and he's executed it. He was quite far off the net as well, wasn't he? So it's going to play in his thinking. Down the middle of the court. They do. Oh, he's got the option. Oh, great pickup from Armin. Not the second time of asking. It's just normality for them. It's what they've always done. George. Oh, it's thrown back from Jonathan Helvig. Again, serving on George. Tight at the bottom of the net. Great take from Armin. George Wadley with a brilliant pickup. There it is. 
Sweden are going through to the final.